Hello, and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to do in this video is show you how to pare down and customize Plex with the new Plex app for Fire TV. Now, just so you know, Plex is a free app. You can just get it by asking for it. So that's what we're going to do. Just ask Plex. And here we are apps and games and we're just going to add it. Since we've already got it, we can just go on in and jump in. We, You do have to sign in, but signing in is perfectly easy. Just follow the on-screen prompts. But what you see at this home screen is a pretty busy screen. I gotta say, I mean, there's a lot happening here. It used to be pretty small. It used to be your movies, your music, your photos. And over time, Plex has added all kinds of cool content that is available from the internet. Otherwise, it's a great way to organize things that you've got saved for on a computer or on a hard drive or something like that. But you might feel like you've got this great media center server and you don't necessarily need everything that's on here. Maybe you just want to watch movies and TV shows or something like that and you don't want to have to cycle through everything. So you can remove it, just like we're doing here. What you do is you move to the cursor so that it's yellow, and you press to the left. There you can unpin from the bar. You don't want to press anything like OK or Select. You just want to highlight and move to the left. Otherwise, what you're going to do is open something. So... As we're going through, what we're going to do is just take a lot of things off of this so that we can maybe simplify the home screen a bit. I think we're going to keep the movies with Plex. See what's going on on there. Got some new stuff out. Now, if you want to do something like add something else, let's say you share servers with people, or even you have multiple servers for yourself, you're going to click on here where it says More, and at the top of the screen you see all of my various servers, different computers, and down below are people who have shared their servers with me. So we're going to go on on John Logie here, and... He has a lot of great TV shows in his collection. So just like subtracting things, what we're going to do is go here. We're going to tell it to pin it to the sidebar. And from there, you'll now see on the home that we've got a TV show section. If we choose to get rid of it, we can. But you can click on reorder, and you can put that right at the top. You can put anything in this row right at the top so that you can access it quickly. So with this, you can build up a movie and TV show player. You know, you could use Plexus things. And you can just access anything you want, really, and customize it for your own use, which is really cool. To me, that's what streaming is about. And that's what having your own media server is about. It's setting up an interface the way that you want it, and choosing, you know, what you want to see, what you don't want to see. And that is essentially all there is to it. If you want to re-add things that you took off, like if you dropped podcasts or web shows, you know, inadvertently, you can always come back in and add it. We'll, we'll re-add the title music. Now that's on the home page. See? But that's it. That's the way you go about this. You just, like I said before, you don't want to click OK on anything. It's just a matter of highlighting it yellow and clicking to the left. If you want to get into the settings for it, you can even clear out some other things. You'll see you have a bunch of choices here. For instance, maybe you don't want the clock up at the top. You might have noticed it before earlier in the video. Maybe you don't want it to say what's going to be up next. 
and the music themes, they might get on your nerves. You know, that's a cool feature that some people like in their collections, but otherwise, maybe not. But overall, that's what this is all about. You now have a very, very, very customizable setup that I think that everybody can enjoy in their own way. If you felt this was helpful, please subscribe and share this with your friends. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.